Hello, CS Congress. How are you all? Hope doing well. I, Arti Krishnani, an English educator from Countryside International School. I hope you are learning through our videos and using your time in productive work. Children, in the previous video, we started our first chapter. Why evergreen trees never lose their leaves? This is part two. Before we go further, let's recall the story quickly. Winter season was going to start, and all the birds had flown to the south. But one little bird had broken its wing, and he asked for help. First, it went to a birch tree, and he asked, "May I live on your branches till the spring time?" The birch tree said no because they had their own birds to help them. Then the little bird flew towards an oak tree. He asked the same question to the oak tree: "May I live on your branches till the spring time?" And the oak tree said no because the little bird might eat up its acorns. Then. The little bird flew towards a willow tree, and the little bird asked the same question. The willow tree also said no because they did not talk with strangers. Okay, children. Now let's see who helped that little bird. The poor little bird did not know what to do. Its wing was not yet strong, but it began to fly away as well as it could. Children, the bird was not able to fly. but then also he tried his best before it had gone far a voice was heard little bird it said where are you going and a voice came and uh, it said that where he was going indeed i don't know answered the bird sadly i am very cold and the little bird was little bit disappointed and he said i don't know where i'm going and i'm very cold i'm very cold means children here uh, your body is colder than usual come right here then said the friendly spruce tree for it was her voice that had called it was uh, spruce tree's voice and uh, the, uh, he was inviting the bird come here You shall live on my branch, warmest branch, all winter if you choose. The spruce tree said that you can stay on my branches the whole winter if you want to live. Will you really let me? Asked the little bird eagerly. Eagerly means excitedly. The little bird uh, asked excitedly, "Will you really let me allow you to live on your branches?" Indeed, I will. Answered the kind-hearted spruce tree. The spruce tree was very kind, and he said that yes, I will allow you to stay on my branches. If your friends have flown away, it is time for the trees to help you. Here is the branch where my leaves are the thickest and the softest. The spruce tree said that if you are separated from your friends, uh, it is our duty. Our duty means it is trees' duty to give you. shelter to help you and you can stay on my branches where my leaves are thickest and the softest my branches are not very thick said the friendly pine tree but i am big and strong and i can keep the north wind from you and the spruce now the pine tree said that i am not very thick but i am big and strong so that i can keep the north wind away from you and the spruce tree I can help too," said a little juniper tree. "I can give you berries all winter long, and every bird knows that juniper tree berry juniper berries are good. Now the juniper tree said that I can provide you my berries. My berries are good. You can eat my berries the whole winter." So the spruce gave the lonely little bird a home. The pine kept the cold wind. away from it and the juniper gave it berries to eat so children all the three trees the spruce tree the pine tree and the juniper tree they all helped that little bird and they were giving the little bird a comfortable a safety place they were providing food 
and shelter to that little bird. The other three looked on and talked together wisely. All the other three trees, the, those who did not help that little bird, uh, the birch tree and oak tree and the willow tree, they did not help and they looked each other and they talked wisely. They said that, I will not have strange birds on my bow, said the birch. The birch said proudly that I won't allow any strange bird on my bow. I shall not give my accounts away for anyone, said the oak. The oak tree said that he won't allow anybody to eat his accounts. I never have anything to do with strangers, said the willow. The willow tree said that he would not do anything for the strangers. And the three trees drew their leaves closely about them. Drew their leaves means they brought closely the leaves towards them. In the morning, all those shining green leaves lay on the ground for a cold north wind had come in the night and every leaf that it touched fell from the tree. Children, in the night a cold north wind had come and that wind had touched whichever leaf that leaf had fallen on the ground. May I touch every leaf in the forest? asked the north wind in its frolic. The north wind asked in its frolic. Frolic means in a playway manner and he asked that may I touch every leaf in the forest? No said the frost king. A king was there in the forest, the frost king who was the king of snow and he said no. The trees that had shown kindness to the little bird may keep their leaves. The king said that the trees, the whichever trees had helped that little bird, those who have show, showed kindness, they may keep their leaves. This is why the leaves of the spruce, the pine and the juniper are always green. That's why children, these trees never shed their leaves whole year. They remain green. Who is the author of the story? Florence Holbrook. So children, what did you learn from this story? Be kind and help others in their difficult situations. Children, in the previous video, I gave you hard words and words to know. Today, we will do question answers. Read the sentences and answer the questions. A. We of the great forest have our own birds to help. I can do nothing for you. Question number one. Who said this and to whom? The birch tree said to the little bird. Question number two. What had happened before this? The little bird had broken its wing and asked for help to the birch tree and the birch tree refused to help. At that time he spoke that line. Question number three. What does this tell you about the speaker? Who is the speaker here children? The birch tree. This tells that the speaker is proud. B. I can give you berries all winter long and every bird knows that juniper berries are good. Question number one. Who said this and to whom? The juniper tree said to the little bird. Question number two. What would the listener do with the berries? Who is the listener here children? The little bird. The listener would feed himself all winter long. Question number three. What does this tell you about the speaker? Who is the speaker here children? Who spoke that line? Juniper tree. This tells that the speaker is kind hearted. Children these are the few questions that I have discussed. I will be sending you notes of other question and answers. Please go through them and write it in a book. Thank you. I hope everybody is up to date with their homework. So that when the school reopens it will be easier for everybody to cope up with the studies.